Imagine an unseen force pulling our entire galaxy toward it at breakneck speed. This cosmic behemoth, known as the Great Attractor, lies hidden, shrouded in mystery at the center of a vast gravitational anomaly, and has puzzled scientists for decades. Is it a supermassive black hole? A giant cluster of galaxies? The answer might just redefine our place in the cosmos. This mysterious entity exists as a region of space behind the Milky Way, making it invisible to our telescopes. It exerts a massive gravitational pull on the galaxies around it, including our own, which differ significantly from the total expansion of the universe. This behemoth is in the central point of the Lanika supercluster, a vast collection of about 100,000 galaxies that spans more than 500 million light years. It has a mass estimated to be tens of thousands of times that of the Milky Way. This region of space is the Great Attractor. So what is this region of space with a gravitational force strong enough to pull in the galaxies around it? Is it a massive cluster of galaxies or perhaps a giant black hole? Is our Milky Way along with all of us in it in danger of being consumed by this mysterious attractor? Or does it have another purpose in our cosmic history that we have yet to discover? The galaxies in space follow a flow called the Hubble Flow. The Hubble Flow represents the predominant movement of galaxies on a large scale, driven by the expansion of the universe. According to the Big Bang Theory, every element in the universe is drifting apart at a certain rate. According to the Hubble Law, galaxies are moving away from each other at speeds proportional to their distances. However, in the 1970s, astronomers peered into the cosmic dust of the Milky Way and found that the Milky Way, as well as galaxies in our cosmic neighborhood, were moving towards a common direction rather than following the Hubble flow, and at speeds much faster than expected. Their velocity is akin to hurtling through space at a rate more than 20,000 times faster than an airliner's cruising speed. Where does this movement come from? And what is causing this unusual movement? Not all galaxies adhere strictly to the Hubble flow, the uniform expansion of the universe. Some galaxies exhibit a higher velocity that causes them to stray from this expected pattern of expansion. This is known as peculiar velocity. These deviations highlight the influence of gravitational forces acting upon the galaxies. Often these forces emanate from a massive cluster of galaxies nearby whose gravitational pull is potent enough to decelerate or even reverse the expansion of any galaxy within its proximity. The Great Attractor is very challenging to observe as it lies in a region of the sky that is obscured by the dust and stars of the Milky Way. This region is called the Zone of Avoidance. It makes it very challenging for us to peer through this cosmic veil and observe the Great Attractor in visible light, as the light from distant galaxies is either blocked or absorbed by the intervening matter. So what are we observing? Is it a concept of super-dense pure dark matter that challenges the current theory explaining the origin of mass and motion? Astronomer Alan Dressler from the Carnegie Institution of Science supports this idea, referring to the absent concentration of matter as the Great Attractor. This term describes it as a mysterious force or region in space that seems to influence the motion and distribution of galaxies, suggesting that our understanding of mass and motion in the universe may not be complete. The Great Attractor is a fascinating and mysterious phenomenon that has important significance for the universe and our galaxy. The Great Attractor is not a single object, but a region of space where gravity is more powerful than average. This is because scientists believe the Great Attractor may contain several galaxy clusters, such as the Norma Cluster and the Centaurus Cluster, which possess considerable mass and density. According to recent information, the Norma Cluster is moving toward the center of the Great Attractor at a speed of about 1,345 meters per second. The zone of avoidance is an intriguing part of space, like a curtain blocking our view of the universe. To overcome this difficulty of peering through the cosmic dust to view the Great Attractor, astronomers have employed advanced technologies and clever techniques to measure the mass and location of the Great Attractor, such as X-ray, infrared, and radio observations. 
X-ray observations can reveal the presence of hot gas in the galaxy clusters, a sign of their mass and gravitational potential. Infrared observations can penetrate the dust and show the distribution of galaxies behind the zone of avoidance. Radio observations can detect the cosmic microwave background and the relic radiation from the Big Bang and measure how distorted it is by the gravitational lensing effect of the Great Attractor. They've helped us confirm the existence of once unseen galaxies. It's like using a powerful flashlight to illuminate the dark corners of the universe. Using these techniques, astronomers have determined that the Great Attractor is about 250 million light-years away from us. Now, the Great Attractor is part of the Laniakea supercluster, which contains our Milky Way and many other nearby galaxies. The name Laniakea means immense heaven in Hawaiian and was chosen to honor the Polynesian navigators who used the stars to explore the Pacific Ocean. This supercluster encompasses approximately 100,000 galaxies stretched over 500 million light years. It has a complex web like structure with dense regions connected by filaments and surrounded by voids. The Laniakea supercluster is part of the larger Pisces Ceta supercluster complex, one of the most massive superclusters known in the observable universe. The Laniakea supercluster is defined by the flow of galaxies across space rather than by the distance between them. This means that the galaxies of the Laniakea supercluster share a common gravitational destiny and are moving toward the same attractor point. The Great Attractor is the central gravitational point of the Laniakea supercluster and it influences the motion and evolution of the galaxies around it. As the Great Attractor pulls us and other galaxies toward it, it creates a cosmic flow of matter that deviates from the uniform expansion of the universe. What adds to the fascination is that this region is also advancing towards another colossal supercluster, the Shapely Supercluster, at a velocity of approximately 600 kilometers per second. This means that together with the Milky Way and the Great Attractor, we are being pulled into another structure with even more gravitational force than the Great Attractor. This cosmic flow of matter has important implications for the future of all the galaxies involved, including the Milky Way. As the galaxies approach the Great Attractor, they may encounter other galaxies or galaxy clusters and undergo violent interactions which could change their shapes, sizes and properties. These interactions could trigger star formation, gas stripping, morphological changes and other phenomena that affect the evolution of the galaxies. Some examples of galaxy collisions and mergers that have been observed in the direction of the Great Attractor are the Bullet Cluster, the Abel 3627 Cluster, and the Centaurus A Galaxy. One of the most striking examples of galaxy collisions is the Bullet Cluster, a pair of colliding galaxy clusters about 3.8 billion light years away from us. The collision generated a shockwave of hot gas visible using X-ray imaging and also caused the dark matter to separate from the normal matter within the cluster. Dark matter was identified through its gravitational lensing effect on galaxies in the background. The Bullock Cluster serves as the most compelling evidence supporting the existence of dark matter, a theorized form of matter invisible to light yet capable of exerting gravitational forces. Another example of galaxy collisions is the Abel 3627 cluster, a massive galaxy cluster near the center of the Great Attractor. It's about 222 million light years away from us and contains roughly 40 galaxies. The cluster is also rich in hot gas which emits X-rays. The cluster is merging with another, leading to the creation of a shock front and a cold front within the gas. A third example of galaxy collisions is the Centaurus Galaxy, a peculiar galaxy that is about 12 million light years away from us. It is the fifth brightest galaxy in the sky with a dust lane across its middle. The galaxy resulted from a merger between a giant elliptical galaxy and a smaller spiral galaxy. 
The merger sparked a flurry of star formation, which is the process by which dense regions within molecular clouds in interstellar space collapse under their own gravity to form stars. It also awakened a supermassive black hole at the heart of the Centaurus A galaxy. This black hole propels jets of high-speed gas into space, generating X-rays and radio waves that stretch across thousands of light years. The future of our understanding of the universe and the Great Attractor depends on more research. Australian astronomers are leading the way to several exciting projects. One project, the 2MTF survey led by CASTRO, Computational Astrophysics Simulation and Theoretical Research Organization, has made significant progress using the Parkes Telescope. This survey helps us measure the distance to galaxies, giving us insights into the structures and movements of the region of the universe in our immediate vicinity. Another research team will employ the use of Australia's advanced Cicero SCAR, Pathfinder or ASCAP telescope to explore deeper into the radio universe. Despite the progress made by astronomers in revealing the hidden galaxies behind the zone of avoidance, the Great Attractor remains a mystery. The origin of the Great Attractor's mass and gravity is also unknown. How did such a massive and dense region of space form? What are the processes and mechanisms that shaped its evolution and structure? How does it interact with other superclusters and cosmic structures? These are some of the questions that astronomers are trying to answer. But the big question that everybody is curious about, will the Great Attractor completely engulf the Milky Way one day? The answer is probably not. As the universe expands, its gravitational influence will weaken. In the distant future, as the expansion continues to speed up, galaxies currently drawn to the Great Attractor may start moving away. The gravitational bonds holding these massive superclusters together will weaken, and they might begin to break apart. One day, this formidable Great Attractor will lose its gravitational hold on all the galaxies around it.